friends. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what we can do when we feel stress or anxiety or just, you know, troubles. A few days before he was to be crucified, Jesus was praying to his Father and said, Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Jesus knew that he was going to die on the cross. He could have asked God to save him. Instead, he only asked that his Father's name be glorified. What can we do when troubles, stress, and anxiety come into our lives? I believe that troubles can be a time to get strength from within. I believe the strength we all have within ourselves comes from God. When we tap into that strength, we are giving glory to God. We can access the strength in a number of ways. We can pray like Jesus did. We can look outside ourselves as all the glory around us and gain perspective. We can sit calmly and be still and hear the soft words God has for us. One way I like to relieve stress and anxiety is to do yoga. We have a special guest, Joy Virginia, so recently married, I don't know her last name. Some of you will know her as Mr. Rick and Miss Nan's daughter. She's going to lead us through a few yoga poses. You might want to pause the video and change into something a little more comfortable. Good morning, yogis. I hope everybody's having a beautiful start to their day. For today's practice, all you really need is comfortable clothes you can move in and a little bit of space. If you have a yoga mat, that's great. But if you don't, that's totally okay. You just want to swing your arms, make sure you're not hitting any furniture and family members, and you have a little space to move. So we're going to start today actually sitting down. And we'll just come to an easy seat, either crisscross applesauce or maybe just placing one shin in front of the other. Wiggle till you get a comfortable seat. We'll gently place our hands on our knees. Take a deep breath. Our goal today is just to take a moment to be here, to be in the moment. So we're going to slowly close our eyes. We're going to just do a few breaths together. We're going to take a deep inhale. We're going to lift the shoulders up towards the ears. And on the exhale, open the mouth and drop the shoulders. We'll do that three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, shoulders to the ears. Exhale out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. All right, keeping those eyes closed, we're going to bring the palms to the breast right in the center of the chest, prayer hands. You want to squeeze those palms together, kind of like you're squeezing a grape between your hands. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get that connection good and tight. And then we're going to practice our yogi breath. So we're going to keep our mouth closed. And we're going to do inhales and exhales through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. You can release the hands to the knees, gently opening the eyes, taking in the room around you. We're going to bring our soles and the feet together to touch in front of the hips so the feet can be super close to the hips or maybe a little farther away, whatever's comfortable to you. This is butterfly pose. 
again, just wiggle till you get that comfortable seat. And you can kind of sit up tall. You can bring the hands to the feet or maybe just inside a little diamond shape here. And we're going to inhale those knees up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. We'll do that a few more times, just moving with the breath. And on our next exhale, we'll leave the knees down, straighten that spine again, and then we'll just fold forward. You can round the back now, letting the head hang heavy here. And we're just going to have a few breaths here in this forward butterfly fold. Maybe imagining if you were a beautiful butterfly, what color you might be. I think I would be orange, definitely orange. All right, let's sit up tall. We're going to move. I'll turn to the side so you can see what we're doing. We're going to do boat pose. So we are going to bring the hands to the underside of the leg to support, and you're going to try to balance on your hips here, lifting the feet off the ground. We're going to balance here. If you want an extra challenge, maybe release the hands. If you can hold yourself up, engaging your tummy muscles. Two more breaths here, guys. You're doing great. And release. You're going to cross your legs and roll forward for cat-cow. So this is going to start in tabletop position. So our wrists are directly under our shoulders and our knees are under our hips. You can have the toes tucked or the feet flat. We're going to inhale, drop the belly as we look up. Exhale, pressing into the hands, round the spine like a cat. Inhale, drop the belly as we bow. Exhale, round the back, the cat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, let the head hang. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cut. Let's do this a few more times. And on your next inhale, we're going to stay here in cow pose. We're going to tuck those toes behind us. And we'll gently press into the hands to lift the knees. And then we're going to press the chest back towards the sides, coming into downward dog. So once that chest is near the thighs, then you'll start to straighten the legs here. And we'll just walk out our dog. And that just means you bend your right knee, straighten the left. And then switch it up. You can go slow here, breathing with the movement as you bend each knee. Or super fast, super fast. Shake it all out. And then we'll slow down again. And then come to stillness again, pressing that chest towards your thighs, reaching with the arms, pressing the fingertips into the ground. And we're going to inhale our right leg up to the sky. And exhale, step it through in between the hands. We're going to drop that left knee, bringing both hands inside of that right leg. This is lizard lunge. So we're going to sink into the hips. And we're going to inhale that right arm up and around like a rainbow. Exhale it back. Inhale up and around. Exhale it back. One more time. Paint that rainbow. Inhale and exhale. 
Great. We're going to come back through to tabletop position. We're going to inhale that cow pose. Getting ready for downward dog. Tucking the toes. Pressing into the hands to lift those knees. Press that chest back to the thighs and then straighten the leg. From here, we'll inhale that right leg up. And then exhale, step it through. Dropping that right knee and bringing both hands inside the left leg. We're going to inhale the left arm up and around. Exhale back. Inhale, gaining our rainbow. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale back. All right, this time we're going to step that leg back and come through to child pose. So we're going to bring those knees out wide. Knees out wide, you're going to bring those big toes to touch. And then we'll gently Bring the arms out in front of us and drop the head down to the ground. Let's just take a few breaths here. Just settle the breathing. Sometimes when we get stressed, we can actually get stuck inside our bodies. And one of the ways we can help release it is by moving around and breathing. So that's all we're doing in yoga, is just moving with the breath, with intention. So just paying attention to your body, paying attention to your breath. All right, we're gently going to come back up through tabletop position. And then we'll come to stand. We're going to do one balancing pose here called tree pose. We want to make sure we're got our toes spread wide. We've got strong legs. We're going to make sure that left foot is really planted into the ground. You feel your big toe, your pinky toe, and your heel pressing down. And we're going to bring that right foot and just prop it on the ankle, bringing the hands to the hips. If that feels like it's too easy, maybe you'll just bring your sole of your foot to the side of your shin. Try balancing there. That feels good. If you want more of a challenge, maybe bringing the foot all the way up to the thigh. You can leave the hands on the hips or maybe come back to that Prayer pose with the hands squeezing the grapes. Remembering to be true to yourself here. Whatever tree shape you are is perfect. I'm not trying to copy anybody else's tree. You're just growing as nature intended. Taking some deep breaths. And then we'll release. Shake it out. Shake it out. Let it go. And then we're going to set up for the other side. So again, spreading those toes wide on that right foot. Feeling the big toe, the pinky toe, and the heel pressing into the ground. And then we're standing up tall. And we're picking up that left foot. Deciding whether we want to prop it on the ankle or the shin. Or maybe the thigh. We just don't want to press on the knee. We want to keep that knee safe. Maybe the side's a little more wiggly than your other side. And if you fall out, that's okay. You just come back and find your tree again. Whatever shape fits your body. Breathing in and out through the nose. It can be easier if you find a point in front of you to stare at that's not moving. One more breath here. And we'll shake it out. Shake it out. All right, we'll close class today with a few forward folds. So we're going to inhale those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. 
Thanks so much, Joy. Let us pray. Dear Father, we all face trouble in our daily life. Help us find our inner strength and let us ask that you help us to face those troubles in such a way that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>